Hey there! It is a beautiful fall Saturday afternoon. I've gotten a lot done in the house. I've already done a lot of running around and my phone has been warning me all day about a frost. So here in South Carolina, we are um, about to get our first possible frost. We're right on the edge of the frost line as well as it says it's only going to get down to 33 degrees tonight. So I don't think that's truly frost unless it's below 32. Um, but you know, we'll see. I've got a lot of things to take care of here in the garden. I want to show you what's going on and how things are looking before I start chopping everything off and digging everything out and sharing with you what's going on right now. My super awesome basil did so well this year. And we have our first little patch of flowers. So it has officially gone to seed. I'm gonna let it do its thing and maybe I can get some seeds from it in a little while. This lemon tree is made from store-bought lemons cut in half and seeds harvested and planted. A lot of things are saying that because we got it out of a store-bought lemon, it won't produce lemons when it's fully mature. But this is a test. I'm totally fine with waiting three years to see if we're ever gonna have lemons out of this baby. As you can see, I've got some peppers to harvest. These two little ones are also store-bought lemon seed trees growing. And look at this awesome pepper. My pepper plants have done so well and they keep giving and giving. I wish I had a greenhouse to store them in. But now I see how much life they have to them so I know how to prepare next year. Here, these peppers have turned red and look amazing. These are those super scary ghost peppers. The hot sauce I made isn't that spicy. So I'm strongly considering making hot sauce with ghost pepper chilies. More peppers. And more peppers. Poblano peppers are still going. Our nights have been dropping down to about 40 degrees. Our days here in South Carolina swing up a lot. We swing up to about 70 degrees every day, 75 up to 80. The other day we had a 38 degree shift from morning to afternoon. The eggplants did absolutely amazing this year. I wish I would have kept up with them a lot more. Now I have a whole plan going into next year and I am going to try to harvest some seeds from this. We bought this eggplant fully like growing already small plant we saved it from the nursery and it's it did amazing more peppers beautiful habanero peppers Look at this adorable purple Numex Twilight Pepper. That's how they start. They start purple and then they turn colors. I absolutely love that this plant 
is just still providing. My green beans, on the other hand, I failed them this year. Those have got to come out. There are a couple beans. I wonder if I can. They're not really dry. That's all right. We grew this from seed. I think it was a package, so we probably have more stored up for me to use next year. And then the almighty fig. We never got figs to eat off of it, but that's okay. It's beautiful, it's living, and it'll get to us next year. This is a ghost pepper plant that hasn't been truly wild, watered in a while. It's all dried up. And then look, here's what I'm thinking. It's either the plant trying to come back to life or peppers have fallen off, the seeds have rooted themselves and now they're growing. Mm, no, retract my statement, it's just trying to survive. But good job, pepper plant. My beautiful, beautiful Mexican sage. I'm going to leave this in this large pot that it's in. And I hope it comes back next year. morning glory they truly do bloom every day and die every night but see how much brown is in here see how it kind of looks a little sick I have all of this out of this little box down here and I think maybe it sucked all the nutrients out because it's just not holding its own. My aloes are looking awesome. Fresno chili peppers. Cayenne peppers. And here's my tomato row. It's still giving me tomatoes. They're turning red. They're living. I water them every other day. They took a hard hit from the week I did not water them and it was dry here. But they're still giving me healthy baby. My herbs are doing pretty good chives, sage, parsley, and English chives. Today is Saturday, November 13th. The full moon, which I believe is going to be the longest blood red moon that we've had in a century, 
I'm gonna have to look it up. I just saw something on it this morning. But full moon is going to be November 19th. So the 13th, we're in this section of what to do. And good for sowing and planting all that produce above ground. Don't prune. No root crops. Take all cuttings, good for grafting. Okay. I don't plan on sowing anything right now, so that's just fine. I do wanna take off what's currently been produced in my garden, just to help the plants with uh, going through the frost. I think that it would help. I think that if they're not having the life force sucked from them, maybe they'll do a little better through this frost that possibly might be coming tonight. So I'm gonna clean up this garden a little bit and then we're going to see what I can do before it gets too dark or before I have to go inside. This is a bucket of amazing life that I could have harvested if I was more on my A-game. But this is the first season of gardening, the first season of life lessons, the first season of learning what I'm capable of and how I should just run with it, stick with it. I love my garden. I wanna be able to love the things it gives me. To end the day, I decided these two no longer living ones. This was my golden delight. Oh, look what's on it. I was gonna pull this off, but maybe, maybe that guy's trying to do something. Maybe not. I'll still leave it. Instead, this one, my purple, was it a purple queen? No, that's not a purple queen. It was a purple something. This is gonna come out.
All right, the sun is pretty much down and set on the other side of the trees. I've done what I can out here. I can't wait until tomorrow to see if there's a little bit of frost out here and to see how the plants do with it. So until then, thank you so much for watching my video. I am Danielle, I am the Zodiac Tiller. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful weekend and I hope you have a great upcoming week.